My name is Yulan Lin, and I'm a developer advocate for Data Studio. Data Studio is Google's free business intelligence and reporting solution that allows you to connect to a bunch of different data sources, analyze and visualize your data, and share the results with colleagues and stakeholders. Out of the box, Data Studio provides you a ton of different chart options to tell stories with your data and find insight. However, sometimes you want maybe a different chart or different styling or a specialized component that does calculations or performs a different function. This is where community visualizations come in. Data Studio community visualizations allow you to create custom components that integrate seamlessly with your Data Studio dashboards and your existing reporting workflow. Let's take a look at some examples. So Supermetrics has built this really cool Gantt chart to track the progress of campaigns. Other people have used community visualizations to build chord diagrams, thank you diagrams, and more. Sometimes you want different styling options. Maybe you want the look and feel of your dashboard to align more closely to your branding or to your client's branding. Sometimes you might want your whole dashboard to look like it was hand drawn in webcomic style, like this chart that Michael Whitaker has built. Anvil Insights has built this really cool statistical analyzer to help their clients understand whether or not there was anything of statistical significance in their data that they should pay attention to. Other people have used community visualizations to create machine learning models in browser in Data Studio reports using TensorFlow.js. Let's take a look at how you use community visualizations in Data Studio. To add a community visualization to a Data Studio report, click on this block looking icon. You can either add one of the featured visualizations or click on explore more to see more. And here you'll get a whole list of partner visualizations, visualizations that have gone through a review and approvals process with the Data Studio team. I'm going to add this gauge chart. And the way you add it is to click on the card. And you can either click on your report or drag and draw to add it to your report. And once it's in your report, you can change out the data. You can also change the styling options, just like you would with any other Data Studio chart. Now, if I were to add a visualization that wasn't in the partner gallery, I would, again, click on the block looking icon, click on Explore More, and then I would click on Build Your Own Visualization. And then in this box that says Manifest Path, I would put in a manifest path. I would hit submit and I would click on the rendered card. And again, you just click to add that to your report. Now let's take a look at what other people have built with community visualizations. We have an entire section of our report gallery to show off reports that show off community visualizations. Some of these are also in the partner gallery and some of these are just cool reports that use community visualizations to tell stories and uh, insights with your data. We also have this visualizations tab that has the same partner visualizations you saw earlier in Data Studio, links you to reports that show you how do you use it, what are some of the options available, and um, what are some sample reasons you might want to use this chart. So in short, Data Studio Community Visualizations allow you to create custom components that integrate seamlessly with your Data Studio dashboards and expand the possibilities of what you can do with Data Studio. To learn more about community visualizations, visit developers.google.com slash data studio slash visualization and connect with us on social media using the hashtag Data Studio Devs.